Hello everybody, True Marvis here. Welcome to another True Plays. This is Dark Elven Legacy by Old School Vibes. There are two versions of this game available. You can buy the game on Xbox, you can buy the game on the Microsoft Store. They are priced at £4.19 each. However, there is a bundle you can buy on the Xbox Store. Uh, I probably will be on the Windows Store as well. Uh, where you can buy both versions in a bundle for £6.19, which means you do save a couple of pounds. The achievement list is extremely straightforward. For those interested in achievements, you have one achievement for completing each of the game's 30 levels. Now, I've uh, played the game on Windows, on the Microsoft Store already, and um, I'm just going to compare this to the Windows version. I'm expecting them to be identical in each and every way. But there's your 30 levels, and off we go. So we're having to collect the fragments of the exploding necklace, basically. It's an old school kind of like pixely platformer. Jump, you can shoot enemies with your bow. Bit of a long bow that we've got there, that's a checkpoint. And then we do have the special attack as well. Which is like an extra special shot, we've only got three of those though. Available to us. You can take damage. I think every time you get hit, you lose one health point. I think spikes instantly do instantly kill you. I don't think I know they instantly kill you. I've played the Windows version. Um, you do get power ups every now and then, which do. Let's say I touch the spikes there to demonstrate the death of the character instantly. Sometimes you are best damage boosting through things, to be honest with you. But. Um, So it's 30 levels, so it's not an incredibly long game. Like I say it is £4.19, or if you buy the bundle, it's even cheaper. So you, know, you are getting a fair amount of game for the amount that you're paying. Uh, these checkpoints are invaluable because uh, you will die quite often to the spikes. The controls on the Windows version, I mean, I've not played this one enough so far, were responsive enough. They they all worked perfectly well. Didn't have much issue, really. The collision detection when you take damage from an enemy was a little bit off at times. I felt that it was a little bit eager to, to damage you, so maybe the player's hitbox is a little bit bigger than the actual physical outline of the character. Um, that could do with tightening up a bit. Situations like this were a little bit awkward as well. I always wanted to be able to, be able to crouch down and do like a low shot as well, just so we could change the, the angle of the shot there. But uh, you only can fire at one, one height, unfortunately. As I say, the biggest enemy in the game is spikes. Spikes are not our friend in this game. It does start off pretty simple, as, you, as you've seen here. But the levels do get longer, more protracted, and have multiple checkpoints in them. And the enemies get more dense, and the uh, parts we've got to collect become more numerous. no problem with lives or anything like that you have as many lives as you uh, want ah you just go back to the start of the level 
That's the second time I've done that. I thought he did that on the on the Microsoft Store version. Whoa. Yeah. There's collision with the side of the, the platform there, so you actually bump into it. So that means here... Nice bit of invulnerability there, that helped. That's me that I've got... I think I've I think this pad's developed stick drift, unfortunately. I've got a spike in the head. Yeah, this, this pad's developed stick drift, unfortunately. Do you see how it ran off to the side? That's not the game, by the way. That is my controller. Oops. Triple shot. I'm just going to go through a few levels, I don't want to, because it would have been a short game, I don't want to demonstrate the entire game to you guys. Some mystery to be still there for you. Uh, but I can confirm right now that both versions are identical to one another, so whatever your platform of choice, or if you want to buy both, if you're an achievement hunter, or you just want the accessibility of being able to play in whatever system you want to play on. Then you're getting the same experience regardless of what platform you choose it. How do I get down here? Oh that was that was that was evil. I mean, to be fair, the game does give you the... <laughs> Stick drift! Oh no! I I'm going to have to change this pad out, seriously. Points. I think for the price, this is this is great. Price, it's a bit of old school, like sixteen bit platformy. It can be a bit brutal at times, but you know, perseverance. Mushroom people now. Yeah. 
Yeah, this game's available right now. Microsoft Store and Windows. Two separate versions of the game. Both currently worth a thousand gamer score. I don't know if more scores gonna get added at a later date. It could possibly be because uh, old school vibes who developed this are um, a new company. A newish company to Xbox. So we'll have to wait and see what their approach to achievements are so the game is not perfect but you know it's it's for the price can't go wrong oh that's a pit don't want to fall down that when you do play it I would suggest you play it with a, a, a stick with a, a control without stick drift Oh, there's a stick drift again. Look, I was edging slightly forward to the left. And no reflection on the game. It's 100% my controller doing that. You sometimes you can just damage boost through things. If you've got the hit points, just do it. Oops. Did, did I fall through that platform then? Didn't see that one behind me. Ah, jumps. Right, so we're at level 10. Once we've beaten this level, we're a third of the way through the game, and that's where I'll leave it. Because, like I say, I want you to experience some of this game yourself. So just to recap, we've got a like a platformer shooter collector fun game going on here. The graphics are pretty decent. They're pretty dark, but they convey the dark elf and the enemies really well. The music's there in the background, it's not too intrusive, it doesn't get annoying in any way, shape or form, so that's good. Uh, it controls well for the most part. Um, the only issues with the game is the hit detection can be a little bit... A little bit wonky at times, you, you feel like you've, you've taken a hit. When you don't think you deserve to take a hit. These are horrible. This is where crouching down would be very helpful because they, they fly, fly lower than you. That's annoying as well there, that bit. You 
don't if there's a wall of them like that and you don't hit them at the right angle you kind of like it feels like you're hitting a wall and you'll fall down oh i'm not seeing this is there's a red spike behind um behind old mushroom you know Not a fan of those red guys, innit? I've done an extra level for you. Yeah, sometimes the hit detection, you do feel like you took damage or you took a hit off the spikes when you didn't deserve to. Um, doesn't happen all the time, but you, do, you, you feel that on occasion. And um, just when there's two platforms placed vertically above one another, each other, you don't jump at the correct desired angle, you will like hit a brick wall and just fall to your death, which can be a bit frustrating. Um, I played through the entirety of the, see it happened now, I played through the entirety of the Microsoft Store version and there's nothing too tricky in here. The levels between 20 and 30 do, do get a lot longer and can feel a little bit more frustrating but if you just concentrate and uh, you know work on just getting from checkpoint to checkpoint You'll get through it no issue whatsoever and uh for four pound 19 or even cheaper if you buy the bundle it's a great bite-sized piece of entertainment i mean obviously how long it will take you to complete that will be skill dependent but um i can definitely recommend this one and let's see what old school vibes bring to us in the future as i've done another bonus level for you there guys so I uh, thank you for watching. Thanks to Old School Vibes for providing the uh, code for the coverage. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.